Okay, so Matnam for February 2023. Um, again, my wanderings into digital matter, uh, software creation, and and photography. Uh, well, basically, computer computational photography uh, made my style. And the three first pictures actually reflect where we were last month. Um, I had just finished um, developing this new insaturator uh, creative filter, which was named uh, Herate. And these are three pictures with the three extremes when you change the variator um, position. So from max to min with the middle position. Actually, I always look at it with three extremes. The minimal amount of variator, maximum amount, and the middle uh, the mixed uh, 50% of each in the middle that actually doesn't react in a balanced way but has a very different, as you can see, way of rendering things. Actually, the middle um, position is more neutral um, than the two extremes. Um, um, again, I was kind of... Uh, I didn't have much inspiration. I wanted to do something new, another insaturator. That was my goal for the month. So I started fine-tuning other apps and again using the random mode in my different photo apps to try to find some inspiration. So here the two pictures, middle and left, are using Camare. Uh, it's a great um, great app, uh, the Camare, um, using a digital, a dark cam, sorry. Um, it's a great app, it's kind of, um, it wasn't my favorite app when I developed it, but now that it has a, a rather fast and actually an interesting UI, an interesting user experience, uh, I use it a little bit more. Um, yeah, two examples of, uh, of what I could get out of it. That's what, both pictures here are with the same filmulator. That's Paula Laurel. Um, it's a thermal uh, printer uh, simulation. But before I have an insaturator, which is a very kind of a black and white uh, desaturator um, filter on the left, and um, arguable that kind of dislocates the uh, color maps of the picture. Um, yeah, but not very satisfying. I kind of like those pictures, that's why I put them here, but um, yeah, I couldn't find the inspiration. The picture on the right that's using Camare uh, with uh, a square filter and, and uh, a conic uh, film, expired film simulator on top. So uh, for me, the process of creation in software and computational photography is uh, when I need something, I'm going to try to to think about what kind of filter I I, I would like to use for my further work. What, that's the big question. What's missing in my tools? Um, what do I want to say? And here, for example, those two pictures of a dessert taken with Digital Paula, which is the most modern um, f engine, photo engine I have, but with the same filters, basically, same filter engine. Um, the same dessert doesn't look at all the same. And that was just for the example. The picture is not very interesting per se. Um, the framing is not exactly the same either, but you definitely don't get the same looks uh, of the same thing. So I think it's important. It's like when you're using film. Um, you're not going to use any film or any sensor or any filter to create what you want to create. And, and thus, when I, I try to find inspiration, going into random mode gives me sometimes ideas or leads to creation. So here, for example, those three pictures... Um, Three, it's the same picture, but taken really differently because of the filterings and the processing. Um, does it tell me something else? Do I want to say that? What do I want to code? Do I want to change the nature of some things or not? And yeah, again, here I was really kind of stuck in my process, and the random mode of my apps is really a great way for me to be a bit more creative in lack of that kind of inspiration and hopeful of finding something new and here's three pictures um, kind of also in phase with my mood coding is really um, an occasion to preconceive what I would like as a process you can go beyond simply using chemical elements or analog processes, it's it's code. But going back to this, that was the months where I actually went to, um, to a workshop, uh, a refresher's war workshop for film developing and, and film enlargement printing. Uh, that was a, a workshop given by the Lake Academy with the Museum of Photography in Vevey in Switzerland. Always a great... Um, 
occasion to find inspiration to. That's an analog process. I took pictures with my apps, so I kind of mixed old processes, but um, yeah, sometimes the process itself is is what is going to give you the energy to go beyond and find other things to say or share. Um, here's four pictures, four variations of one picture, um, kind of a range of things. Which one would I lean towards if I had to do a new filter? Is there something here that motivates me? I would like to dig deeper into. Not really for the four pictures here, but uh, that was a month of trials. And so it's really often the case. Lots of wanderings. Um, here again, do I want something more realistic like the picture on the left? Or something way more stylized, uh, like this view from a plane of Geneva, of the Geneva Bay? Uh, where, which direction do I want to go? What, what do I want to say? Um, and again, uh, traveling is some kind of way to to reset inspiration, at least for me. But I think it's the case for many others. So um, I use also my my wanderings, geographical wanderings, to take pictures, and that's a great occasion to take aerial pictures. Um, here, that's uh, the city of Bern, the capital of Switzerland. Um, three versions. Which one would inspire me most? Do I want something more hidden, dark, like the picture on the left, where you don't really, you have to go search the details, or something more uh, contrasty and stylized, like on the two others? Or something more blurry, like the airplane on the far right? Um, I couldn't really find. And, and finally, this um, that last travel, um, the two pictures, middle and left, uh, again, very to me, very different renderings. Like uh, on the left, that's using the insaturator Ondo with uh, some kind of film later on top, and the middle is RDR. Um, but yeah, I kind of like the textures, but nothing really incredible for me here. But the picture on the right, that's Herate actually, good doing the, the loop uh, circles back. And I got this kind of weird aura in the middle, this snow field here. And um, something was sprouting here. And here again, three pictures, looking at this picture I took before. Um, picture on the left was Herate. Again, this kind of aura coming out. I thought, oh, there's something here with colors that I... I find interesting. I don't want the same effect, obviously. I, I do have it with Herate, but I got the inspiration. And, and again, those three versions gives you very different, really depends how you treat the image. It's going to give you way, focus your um, your view on something very different in terms of details and, and dynamics and energy. And is there drama? Not drama, whatever. But um, yeah, so something was coming out. And here's the picture on the left. I, I kind of we're thinking about this kind of monochromatic uh, results. Um, uh, and I thought about those early process of um, additive color photography early last century. Um, and that was not digital and how you used color components to build the color image. Uh, the brother Lumiere had uh, patented uh, the process of autochrome. And, but it was used before by photographers like, I think, Louis uh, Ducos de Huron, du Huron, something like that, uh, where you had uh, basically three colors uh, added uh, by means of chemical bubbles. Uh, you can look it out, but I thought like, oh, let's, let's, let's like on those two pictures, middle and right, try to emphasize specific colors and not and recreate some kind of color feel to it. So here, my first embryo of a new uh, film later, uh, insaturator. Picture on the left is the original picture out of the sensor, and the middle image is through my first embryo of a, of a filter. Um, and yeah, I kind of enhance certain color components um, and remove others, but try to keep the color characteristics as close as possible to the original but you definitely get something new. You get other textures. And, and sometimes also, like on the picture on the right, you actually uh, get monochrome because the colors don't get out. So I was getting something I found interesting. Here I used a, a, a painting which I liked to test. Uh, every occasion is good to test something. And that's a painting by Wanda Coop uh, at the Museum of Modern Art in Reykjavik. And... 
I was able to use it as a as a canvas for testing this first module, seeing how the red res resonates resonates sorry uh, with my filter, how the blue, how the details come out uh, or not. And here's three pictures where obviously my early designs were kind of emphasizing blue a little bit a little bit too much, uh, but slowly I was getting somewhere with. Um, was my main color channels and and the way I was treating the image something was coming out of it so again that's my personal process I will go through multiple iterations of testing it here again three pictures where it was very different uh, renderings but uh, something's coming out of it slowly uh, with those color channels and and finally at the end of the month uh, I released two of my apps with this new insaturator I think it's buggy uh, so at the time of me doing this video now, uh, maybe there will be some correction on it, but here are three pictures with the variator, minimal amount and maximal amount of variator on, on one picture. I think I messed up the blue colored channel because it's not that simple. Um, it's not that simplistic, but um, I, re I released this module in Camare and DarkCam, I believe, and, and we'll see. We'll have to wait next month to see if I, m I actually messed up and and have to correct something, um, but I think so, but we'll see. But that's basically where I was at at the end of the month, and I was pretty pleased with this module, got the results I expected, but but hey, surprise! That's, that's what software, experimental software development in computational photography is too, and that's what I like about it. So hopefully you found it interesting, entertaining, and see you next time! Mm -hmm.